june twenty ninth saints peter and paul peter is known as the prince of the apostles and saint paul as the apostle to the gentile these saints always listen to the prayers of their devotees time has not diminished their power and from heaven even more than when they were on earth they do not abandon the interests of the church or neglect the least of its inhabitants of this glorious earthly city of god of which they were and remain princes one of the triumphs of the devil in our times is to have dulled the faith of good people in this regard it is necessary to insist that man awake from this death-like sleep that makes us forget that our lord wanted these two saints to continue his work and represent him visibly on earth st ambrose extols the continuing vibrant apostolic mission of the church and expresses the delicacy of the roles that st peter and paul play in the salvation of the elect the church he says is the ship from which peter fishes and for this labor at times he receives an order to use the hook and at other times the net it is a great mystery for this fishing is entirely supernatural while the net does not harm the fish the hook wounds it the net takes in multitudes the hook catches a single fish the good fish does not resist the hook of peter because it does not kill but rather converts fortunate the gash that permits one to profess the same faith as peter it is for this reason that jesus told peter put out into the deep water and let down the nets for a catch put out into the deep water that is go to the very depths of the hearts of men put out into the deep water go to christ the source of living waters of wisdom and knowledge peter continues to fish every day our lord tells him put out into the deep water but one seems to hear peter replying master we have worked all night with no result peter suffers when we are hard-hearted paul is also fighting for our souls didn't he tell us that no one suffers without him also suffering we should act in a way that does not make the apostles suffer divine providence has permitted the faith of many good people to be dull regarding the roles that st peter and paul exercise in heaven devotion to these apostles has diminished a great deal this diminishment is completely unreasonable since it is evident that the mission of the apostles did not diminish with time on the contrary we know that their mission continues now and will continue to the end of time there were not apostles just for one epoch they were not men who saved souls in the first days of the church and then went to heaven where they do nothing they are there now with our lord jesus christ watching and exercising a role over the entire church therefore devotion to them is a necessary thing and today reminds us to recommend ourselves to saint peter and to saint paul pray to them and to increase our devotion to them today's text seems to insinuate a difference between the apostle of saint peter made with a hook and one of saint paul made with a net the distinction between these two different methods of apostolate is useful the apostolate of the net is meant to catch a large number of people the apostolate of the hook is destined to catch this or that particular person the hook wounds the mouth of the fish but by means of this gash he pays the price of his conversion there are conversions that are very difficult that are only possible through great sacrifices and sufferings the blood exacted by the great effort is the price paid to be part of the catholic church this is a normal characteristic of the apostolate of the hook there are conversions however that are painless in the middle ages for example we have marvelous examples of the conversions of kings who brought entire nations with them the kingdom of the franks came to the church with clovis the hungarians with saint stephen and the ukrainians with saint vladimir these were apostolates of the net that brought a multitude of souls without any special suffering saints peter and paul experienced enormous difficulties in their apostolates but yet they also enjoyed times of extraordinary successes they were not easy laborers with happy endings it was hard work along rocky paths that required much prayer and supernatural help in order to go forward without this help the apostolate is fruitless we should keep in mind that saint peter fished all night and was unsuccessful but when he asked our lord for help the net was lifted from the water filled with fish without supernatural assistance without the help of god through the intercession of our lady our apostolate will be fruitless so on today's feast of saint peter and saint paul honoring their martyrdom in rome let's redouble our devotion to them and pray to them to continue to fish for souls here on earth